Sometimes you are highly fixated to the work or research you are doing on your PC or maybe just watching a movie on TV and then the power goes off. I think we can all agree that that can be really frustrating. Hey guys, this is Hart here. In this video, we'll be looking at the Casa Solar Power Portable Inverter. At the end of this video, you should be able to tell whether or not getting this is a good idea. But before we proceed, if you are new to the channel or haven't yet subscribed, we make lots of videos like this, so hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you won't miss any. Inside the box, you will find the user manual, the product warranty card, the solar power inverter, some solar panel connectors, a DC LED bulb, the DC LED bulb cable, switch and lamp holder, and the 19 volt adapter to charge the inverter. So what is this anyway? This is a solar power inverter but you can call it a big power bank. This can come in handy when there is a power cut. It can be charged up using the solar panel. However, you can also charge this with the AC adapter connected to any available power supply. This inverter is not meant to be used with anything that uses an AC motor or appliances that surpass its output ratings. Appliances like refrigerators, microwaves or compressors that use AC motors might not work to capacity Appliances below 100 watts are recommended. This inverter has a capacity of 40,000 mAh and weighs about 1.64 kg. Charging this should take about 7 hours. It can power up things like your laptop, router, phones, fans, TV set, among others. It has two 12 volt DC output ports, a USB Type-C port with quick charge 3.0, two regular 5 volt USB ports, and a 5 volt USB port with quick charge 3.0. The availability of quick charge means it could charge your mobile devices fast. It has a price of about 100,000 Naira or $220. To use this is simple. Press the power button to turn on the inverter or the LED display. The LED display indicates the power 3 percentage in bars. Not the most accurate depiction, but I guess it will do. It also displays the usable ports, which are DC out, USB-C and USB. To charge your phone with this, plug in your charging cord, then plug in your device. You can also use your mobile phone charger to charge your device directly by connecting it to the AC output port. But to use the AC output port, you have to turn it on by pressing the AC button for 5 seconds. This solar inverter came along with a gift LED bulb. To use this, plug it into one of the output ports, then turn it on by flipping the switch. This can be useful if you need to illuminate your environment. This LED bulb is stated to last up to 40 hours on this inverter. Aside from the LED bulb, there's a bright LED flashlight by the side of the inverter that can be turned on and off by pressing the button next to it. We've come to the factor which might determine if getting this is a good idea or not. How long does it really last? We've tested this inverter with several devices and the time it lasted is variable. When we tested it with our 70W Starlink router, it lasted about 2 hours 30 minutes. It lasted about 3 hours 15 minutes with my laptop connected. It also lasted 3 hours 15 minutes with our 32 inch 50W TV set plugged in. By the way, this is the new 32-inch Android Smart LED TV by Transparent we got last week. I will be unboxing and reviewing it, so subscribe and stay tuned for that video. Now the question is, should you get this? Firstly, you can only use this with appliances below 100 watt, and I really thought it would last longer. Whenever the battery runs down, it goes off without any warning. This might not favor desktop users except you have a UPS. And you can be using the AC output port while charging it at the same time. But on the upside, it is a small inverter so it can only do so much. If you only use this to charge phones, USB lamps or fans and other appliances that use mainly the DC output ports as indicated in the manual, it can last a decent time. If that is what you are looking for, then the Casa Solar Power Inverter will do. However, if you need to use more power intensive hardware, I suggest buying a more powerful inverter. Feel free to let us know what you think in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you found this video helpful. And if you haven't already done that, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any of our videos. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.